Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today I'm going to show you how to make this really simple um, little Halloween journal, um, which is really, really cute. Now I've made this out one of my little trick-or-treat bags, which these are in the shop at the moment and they're on sale this week. Um, so there's 25% off of them and you get four of them. So this is what I'm using to make the journal and I'm loving it. So it's really super simple. So um, let me just open it up. I've just tied it together with a little bit of a string on here. Um, it's got three signatures in it um, and the, it looks like that, which is lovely. So we've got a lovely cat and pumpkins and bats on it. Um, and this is the inside. So I've just got three really simple signatures in there. I haven't put anything in it. Um, it's just coffee stain paper. I've made a little um, hidden paper clip on there as well. Got a little pocket here. These are the little extra bits from the little bottom tabbies here. Um, and that's what I've made the paper clip out of, the little hidden paper clip, which was super simple um, as well. Um, and these have got some little pockets in there. So it's really easy and it's a really lovely one. So it's another thing to make out of the bag. So if you've already got the bags, um, you can make a couple of little journals and it's lovely so it's just sewn in there a little bit of string um, so I'm going to show you how we do it easy peasy so I've cut one out already so the other bits that we need to cut off because um, we only need these three panels here so I'm going to just snip down here I didn't do it before because I wanted you to, to show you um, the actual um, bag like that so I'm just going to just trim these off quickly and then I'm going to just cut this one off because we don't need this end one either we're going to use this as the little tuck just like that so there we go so that will be the tuck inside the inner pocket and then we're just going to keep these little bits to make the um, paper clips right let's pop those over there so what I'm going to do now I'm going to fold this in half okay because I want to make this smaller now again you can leave it like that if you wanted to but I thought it was too big I didn't want um, such a big spine on this one so I'm just going to fold this in half like this okay so that will be the middle I'm going to take my little um, Fiskers cutter. I'm going to just make sure we're sort of straight. So I'm just going to um, cut the little bits off, just the little white bits where I haven't quite cut properly. Pop that in there. Just make sure it's nice and even. Like that. And then the other thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to take a tiny little slither off here. Now you can cut that down if you want to, but I'm just going to take a tiny little slither off here. Like, like that. So we are, have got two pieces. Okay. Like that. Right, so I'm going to take my little scoreboard. Now I've started using my scoreboard upside down because I find it really difficult using it the other way for some reason. I'm going to get my little tool here. I'm just going to score down these lines here. Let me go this way. Like that. Just through here. Just down there. Oops. Okay, and this one. to the side for a minute and we'll use that again in a sec so now what I would like to do is just glue those on top of each other like that so then we've got a smaller um, smaller spine so it's half the size 
so that works really well so I'm just going to glue it down with a little bit of glue this is just a tacky glue in here so make sure you glue it right down right there. lots of nice glue on there make sure you've got right to the edge and then we are going to stick this on top like that and just leave it so you've got that little line down there so that's evens up make sure we are perfect and then that is our little journal like that how simple is that now what I'm going to do I'm going to actually back this a little bit because it's a bit too thin I printed this onto 160 paper now I'm going to use a little bit of cereal box here now the inside of the cereal box is really lovely um, so I haven't bothered covering, covering this because if you look on here I've just left it because I think it works really well um, it just looks some, like some of that craft paper so it works lovely so I'm going to leave that so what I'm going to do I'm going to just stick it onto this side and then cut it out so I'm going to use some glue stick so we shall glue this down nicely I am oops, a great lump of glue I am going to sew around the edges of it as well so let's just glue this down make sure it's on nicely and stuck down God, I lots of glue on this yuck so stick that on like that make sure we're all stuck down nicely and then I'm just going to cut around it So there we go throw those bits in the bin so can you see that's a really nice brown on there really nice um, card so make sure we're stuck down I'm going to get the scoreboard again and I'm just going to score down here which I could have just left it not scored it before but I'm going to let's do it this way make sure we are in here nice and straight line it up properly down through there okay perfect so you can see the lines in there so what I'm going to do now I'm going to just go around the outside and just stitch around the outside um, which is like this one oops just like that because I think that just sort of like finishes it off lovely so I'm going to be two seconds okay so there we go I've just sewn around the outside there just chop this little bit off here like that so let's bend these where I've scored it okay we go a lovely little journal cover so I think that is super sweet so now what we want to do we want to make the um, pages in it well, let me just go around the outside a little bit of ink I've got some black here I'm using the distress oxide which is the black search just for the edges just get rid of that little white line lovely so for the signatures I have got um, three signatures here so I have just torn a piece of um, copy paper in half like that and then just folded them in half I have got five pieces in each one like that and then the next piece I'm going to put six pieces in each one so the one that I'm going to pop on the top which I've got like a little pocket in here so that's just bent over so I'm going to measure this 
so I want it like that so I'm going to just fold that in so we just measure it nicely so that's the size of the pages here so that's going to be the size of the pages which is perfect so I'm going to measure that way I'm going to fold it in that way turn it over and then this is going to be the little sort of like a um, little tuck on the page like that so we're going to use three of these so let's measure that one roughly like that turn it over and do the little tuck spot again this one just measure turn it over they don't have to be exact okay perfect now what I'm going to do I'm just going to glue down these little pockets like that little tucks I'm going to glue them now because I will probably forget otherwise well, you don't have to glue them down you can just have them so they flip out I'm going to use them as little pockets a tiny bit of glue on there and the last one here there we go perfect so each signature then will go on like that okay we're going to rip this off in a minute so they are all level that one goes on there like that and then this one goes on there like that oops we don't want that on there okay let's pop the lid on here i'm going to take my rule here and i'm going to pop it up to the edge so this is the size that we want because that will just that's going to fit into the journal that's the right size so all i'm going to do i'm going to pop that level with that and then just rip these pieces off so it's so simple so then we've got a nice rugged jaggedy edge there like that so I'm going to do that on these as well Perfect. So there we go. So we've got three signatures and then they fit in there just like that and that's a perfect size. So there we go. It's a little bit shorter. These are in there. So you've got a little edge on there and there. So what I'm going to do now, we need to make um, what I didn't do. I didn't sew that in there. What I should have done is stick that on there first and then sew around it. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to stick that on like this. So if you stick it on first, then you'll have the stitch marks around it and it will stay in. But I'm going to just stick it on so we don't forget. There we go. Make sure that's the front. Pop you on there like that. I might have to just trim that up just a tiny, tiny bit here. Just get rid of that little white edge. And do the top. Okay. So that's our little pocket on there. So there we go. So what we need to do now is pop the little holes in here to sew in the signature so it's roughly let me just put my glue over there let me get my pencil so it's roughly an inch this little um, spine here so what I'm going to do I'm going to mark let's go to the top I'm going to mark the halfway so that's half an inch 
and then I'm going to do three quarters of an inch that way and then we want to do a quarter of an inch there okay so you've got three little marks there and then we'll do the same on the bottom so we want half so we want the middle and we want three quarters and then we want to go back down to the quarter so that is the three hole the three marks like that now I'm going to take one of the piece of paper that we took off um, the signatures I'm going to fold this in half like this because we know this is the obviously the same length as the signature so we want to make even a little template to for the whole so I'm going to fold it in half I'm going to fold it in half this way so we mark there I don't like measuring and this is the easiest way I do it um, I'm going to fold that in half so and that in half so we end up with like a W okay and then the outside one again I'm going to fold that in half again okay and then on the other side like that so we have a shape like this okay so it's in half in half again and then the other ones you fold in half again and then what we're going to do we're going to open this out like that i'm going to mark that little corner the center piece there and then that was the halfway work and that is the quarter so we want to make a mark in the, this one here the outside one so these are even then down there like that so i'm going to fold it this way okay so you can see the little dots which are here now i'm going to line them up with these dots here so we've got the first so we want to make sure this is even and this is even here and then we mark it we line it up with the first so we've got three dots here so line it up with the first row of dots like that and then i'm going to go mark a point there one there and then one there so then that's up where we put our three holes again we mark it like this pop a little dot there dot there dot there and then we just line it up again with the other three the other two dot there dot there and dot there so i hope you can see that so we've got our little points there to make our holes so let's rub the top ones out because we don't need those like that take our book to make some holes in so we just need to open this up take my little awl and then I'm going to just poke little holes where we have marked like I find that's the easiest way to do it because I really don't like measuring and it always turns out wrong for me. Oops, that was a big, bit big on that one. So there we go. So we've got those on there. And then what I'm going to do now is take our little template turn it back over this way now I want my little book back don't I pop that on there make sure these are level shall we get our little let's get our little clips on here shall we keep them in place Take this, pop that onto there, so it's right in the middle. Take it all, all, and then we'll just get in the middle of the book. Pop little holes in there, so that's perfect. Next one. That 
one and then the last one here pop that in level it up perfect so there we go that is our three signatures now what we have to do now is sew them in so let's get some I've got some um, black um, wax thread here now I'm, I would probably use just for these I wouldn't use this is the only black one I got I would probably use some um, black embroidery thread or something like that if I had it but I don't have any so I'm going to use this but this is a bit too thick really I don't really need to use this this is good if you make big journals sort of bigger thicker journals because this is really tough stuff so I want three pieces of this you want to take a nice big needle again we can just thread this on here like that pop those out of the way I'm going to pop this in let's go through the middle the end I mean not the middle hole we're on the, the first little set and we want to go through here and it's a lot easier to sew them in when you don't have it full of embellishments that's for sure down through there and then we want to go up through the middle okay I will probably speed this up because you don't need to see me sewing these in Okay, so there we go. I've sewn in the three signatures. I haven't tied them in. I'm just going to tie them in now. I want to make sure that these are quite tight. So just a little knot in there. I'm going to leave them dangling down because I might have something. I don't have any sort of Halloween -y things to hang off it actually, but I might find something at some point. So I'm just going to leave them dangling down for now. Make sure they are um, underneath there so we can pull them nice and tight. Just going to pop one little knot in there. So there we go. That is our signatures popped in there. So I think that looks really, really good um, as a little journal. Just going to edge it. Just these with a little bit of black like that. run it round the edges of these pages just quickly which is perfect and then they sort of like a little black glow -y bit on there so that looks good doesn't it so I'm loving that so what I'm going to do I'm going to pop a little hole in here let's just cover that little bit up just pop a little hole in here to do the um, closure where is my what did I do with it here we go let's just make a little hole here just so we can pop in an eyelet and this side so we want to do roughly there so let's just pop that like that in a black one like this now let's pop this in see if I can do it without knocking it everywhere here we are that 
it easy wasn't it for me Pop that one in like that squash it down perfect and then you can have whatever you like I would like some black um, seam binding but I don't have any I did have some and I don't know what I've done with it but I'll do that in a minute I'm going to show you quickly using these little bits here how to make a very quick um, paper clip hidden paper clip so these are the little tabs off the bottom of the bag so I'm just going to cut that off like that it will turn this one over just fold them in half make sure they are all even up and just even them up a little bit afterwards I'm going to take a piece of this pop that on there because this is what we want to pop the paper clip onto let's get the paper clip I need to get some more now I've got two lots of paper clips in here these ones are flat and these ones have got like the little lip on it whether you can see that um, so I need to use the flat ones for in this one pop that on there and then that just sticks in there like that so I'm going to glue this in Give it some glue make sure you glue right to the end so it doesn't open up right on the edges like that glue in there and I'm going to just glue this make sure your paper clip is in the middle push that in and stick it down super easy and then what we're going to do even this up just tidy it up get those little edges off Oopsie daisy. I'm going to round the corners and then I'm just going to ink it. Ink it like this. Now, if you've got some little Halloween y things that you can put on there, then that's perfect but I don't so I'm just going to ink that up I'm going to take a piece of this grungy fabric here just a little messy bit stick that on there now where's my fabric tack here we go stick it on with a little bit of fabric tack a little bit sort of grungy doesn't it like that and there we go easy peasy little paper clip and then that can then just sit on your page like that so if you've got like a little spider or a little bat you could probably cut out something like that and pop it on there if you've got um if you like but i think that just looks quite um Halloweeny anyway like that so let me get some string there we go I'm using these I've got these labels here um, and it comes with sort of like these little bits of string um, to attach to them so that's what all as I've done I've taken those and I've popped them through here like that and then for this side like that and then you just tie it together 
and we have a lovely little Halloween journal. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? So that is made out of the little Halloween bags. So if you made this a tiny bit smaller, like that, cut around the edges a little bit, it would probably fit into one of the bags. I don't have a bag here with me now, um, but then you could have a Halloween bag with a Halloween little journal inside, which I think is lovely. So that is a quick and easy and a really lovely little project to do. Um, so there we go guys, that is a little Halloween journal with a little paper clip um, made from the Halloween bags. So now I have two. So let me do this one up quickly and there we go, some cute little Halloween journals. So there we go guys, thank you so so much for joining me. The bags are on sale in the shop at the moment so do pop along if you haven't got them and these are a great addition to um, if you want to make any little journals for your um, grandchildren. Um, these are absolutely perfect. So thank you so much, you take care of yourselves, um, have a fantastic rest of the day and I will see you soon. Alright guys, bye bye.